Oh, I love this one. And I saw the, the other version where you put like a billion of them next to each other. Gigabit Ethernet cable. Yeah, when I don't like someone, I swim down to the bottom of the ocean and I start biting the cables that bring their whole region internet to disconnect them from the rest of the world. I know I get a little petty, but you know, it's worth it, man. That's what these teeth are for. These chompers, that's what they're completely worth it for. I could get them shaved down, but no. They serve a purpose and the, pers the purpose is destroying your internet <laughs> when you piss me off. <laughs> This as a little merch item would be so good. A little holder for your cables. I don't know where I'd find someone that would make one of those and not have it cost like a million dollars though. Like I could get someone to make me a custom one, but to have them manufacture one and then sell it, that I'd have to sell it for way too fucking much. It's not a question if, of if you guys would buy that. It's a question of <laughs> which manufacturer will like make this plastic mold, like inject the plastic into a mold, uh, get it created, go and uh, finish it up, get it painted, whatever, and then sell it to you guys. It would cost way too fucking much. The only time these things are cost effective is if you're ordering like 50,000 of them because you are an IP like Pokemon, you know, or whatever. But uh, for me, it would sell. I'm saying this with all the love in the world. You don't know anything about how merch sales work. I promise you, I'd have to charge $100 per. <laughs> like literally, literally with how, with how fucking annoying it is to manufacture custom shit like this. <laughs> in a small size with with detail it would actually it would actually be crazy because the way it works is these things can be cheaply made and you can sell them for a good price if you can promise that you can order a a big number but the fewer you order at a time because you have a smaller community or whatever the fewer you order at a time the more the price per goes up and they'll usually have an MOQ, which is a minimum order quantity. Like they won't even make a custom thing unless you have like at least 500 of them that you are going to buy outright or have people order. So what you do for custom shit like this is you usually buy it yourself, have it shipped to a fulfillment center. Yeah, you buy in bulk and then you hope people buy it. So you buy it outright, which, you know, requires a lot of money. And then usually because you're only hitting that 500 MOQ or like, 1000 or whatever, they cost so much per. So it doesn't really cost the manufacturer to, to that much to make it per item, but the initial upfront cost of like designing it and going through the drafts and whatever costs a lot of labor. So yeah, custom stuff is like, like I want to do it so badly and I've looked into it, but <laughs> some things like this, it's so fucking expensive, dude. I can't go to Good Smile and be like, hey, I want a figure, but instead of it being a normal figure, I actually want it to be a product that's supposed to hold this thing. It's a cable holder. I know you never make them, but make them for me. They're going to be like, no. <laughs> I think YouTube's is like the only one that's maybe accessible, but even then you kind of, you kind of go within their standard catalog of a figurine that's a certain size and looks a certain way. So I don't know, man, it's a little sad, but that's the, the sad state of the merch world is because you're only ordering like, you know, 500 to 2000 units of things like this, uh, it's hard, it's expensive.